when you felt something really big like partnering in the lockdown challenge 2020 we can't but be super grateful we appreciate you hello my name is Fede Tutu. I am the host of the Lockdown Challenge 2020 and also the CEO of Testimonials. I'm also the CEO of Idioms Limited and Philomath Education. I have been around the, you know, developing young people and doing trainings and helping young people to find direction. I recently completed my PhD at the University of Sheffield, United Kingdom. I wasn't always like this. And people see me today and people say, oh, I wish I were like you. I wish my life was better. I wish God dealt with me the way he dealt with you. My life was not like this. I was someone different. I lived a double life in my house. One life with my parents to make my parents happy. The other life to make my friends, my peers happy. In the house, I was a good boy. In the school, in my secondary school days, I was a bad boy. I was there, I, I, I watched them stab someone, I watched them cut someone's ear, I followed the wrong crowd, that was the life I lived. I walked, I was one of those that blocked the streets many times and blocked the stadium. My friends thought it was hopeless. Family told me that one day, even when I entered the church, the church would collapse on me. That was how bad it was. My dad broke my wrist because I didn't know God. I didn't want to go to church. To have no business with the church. I always told people I don't know what it is to go to church and no business with them. I had no business with religion and I wanted to live my life, I wanted to be a free thinker right from secondary school. But things did not just happen the way I thought they were going to be. I had no direction, I had no focus, I had no ambition. And there every day I was planning to join a bigger course in the university. But thanks be to God, do anything fine at mercy, it's happening. And I couldn't have admission in time. I spent about four years outside secondary school. And then even what do after I finished secondary school, I found that I couldn't even pass SSC exams, you see, or the primary school examination. Of which I left primary school, but I had no primary school certificate, which means that I was still in the way. After everything, this moment, I, I had an encounter that changed my life. And someone invited me to a youth program like this. And that's the way I heard about Jesus. And in that moment, I knew that there was something more I needed. My life was done. My teacher in secondary school told me that if the day I would answer a question in the class, she would buy a chicken for me. I was that dumb. My first employer told me, that the profession I was planning to go into, which is land surveying, land surveying was not for me because of me. But anyways, that was my life. The people that lived the kind of life I lived, they died. I was them, but I can mention names of them. But for me, I escaped. The moment I was supposed to be punched and killed, I escaped. How it happened, it's just only God to save my life. After saving me, then the program and I had to change in my life. I went back to my program. I passed my winner's college. I went to university. Me, that was a back in the secondary school and primary school. I began to talk about the future of the students. And that was the life that I lived. And after the second, after my university, I went for NYC. I won NYC award. I have a glory of God, the glory of God. I went ahead again to, to do my postgraduate program. During my postgraduate program, I was offered a scholarship, an international scholarship or overseas scholarship to study my master's in geoinformatics in the United Kingdom, of which that was my first time of coming to the United Kingdom. I see that God was still opening more doors for me just because I surrendered to him. And shortly after that, I returned back to Nigeria after my master's and I won double scholarship from a cross facet government and from the Niger Delta Development Commission as well to return for my PhD in the United Kingdom. And besides all this, my life changed. I completed my study in survey and as the community is a land surveyor, doing people survey you at this time. 
me that they say I am a medium color that I couldn't do it. There's someone like me that couldn't answer a question in the class. So this was my life. Once the day I met someone that changed it for me. And that person is Jesus. Jesus is the fundament fund of this program, this ministry. I have no strength, I have no power, I have no magnitude. For me, I will be running around with my business in this lockdown. But for me to deliver this content and also take time and bring other people to come and then give you this content, I think it's a work of God. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1, Remember now your Creator in the days of your youth, when the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when you will say, I have no pleasure in them. He said in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, This book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth, but you will meditate upon it day and night, and I will make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success. And here is the scripture I have for you today. When you walk with God, He makes your path straight, like my path. I never believed that this could happen to me. And so I'm also coming back to you again. Down from the lowest part of the bottom that I was, God lifted me to this point where I have this courage to speak to you also the nice programs like this and also tell you, look, there is something beyond this. When we've taught you all the principles of success, the truth is that there are thousands and one people are doing applying it and they are not succeeding. What could be the reason? They don't have the ultimate factor. And the ultimate factor is God. You may be wondering why we're talking about God in a program like this. At least we've also talked about other sponsors as well that sponsored this program. Like all the names we've mentioned that sponsored this program. The ultimate sponsor and the owner of this idea is Jesus Christ. He owns this idea. He saved me and he told me I should go and look for young people as well. And tell them, and tell them how good he is or he was to me. And so I'm just doing what I was asked to do. And this is my sponsor, as I spent. And so I want to thank you so much for listening to me. And before you go, I want you to just close your eyes and pray to you. I don't know, maybe you have got a feeling so lost, disappointed, tired of living. I want to tell you, you'll come and see you You're in the right place. You can work through all these problems together. Beyond this lockdown, you can always contact him. Contact any time you want to contact him, I'll be here for you. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your children today. As we are listening to you, I pray, Lord, that the change that you did in my life, you do more for them in the name of Jesus. Change them. Make them pastry. Show them your destiny. Help them in us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your prayer. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to me. Next week, I will come to you with great stories. Stories that will change your life forever. My name is Edith Tito. This is this is the last I love you so much. God bless you. See you next time.